Hello everyone, today we are going to study Eclipse Neon on how to install it over Ubuntu operating system, fine. But before we start it, let me tell you certain things that is uh, for installing it, you need Java JDK installed, fine. Let's see if it's installed or not. Okay, so here we see Java version fine so java is installed also java c fine so java c is also installed if you have not installed it please uh, reviews my previous video on how to install java from youtube itself fine and then come back over here again because the first preliminary step for installing uh, eclipse is that you need java installed over to your Ubuntu operating system fine after getting everything installed you need to uh, go to download packages that's just a second coming back with new window okay so let's see go for google.com type uh, download eclipse it will take you to the Eclipse website. From there, you can download this option, download 64-bit of version, and click over here. It will approximately download 45 MBs of data, fine, which I have already downloaded for you all people. Uh, fine, here it is. You can see it. Uh, I'm going to right-click, open the archive files, and extract it over here after getting everything extracted I'm going inside and double clicking it or making it run mind well I'm not uh, using sudo command for installation if I click on sudo command it will start installing on this location some of the files that is in the root itself which will be slightly cumbersome every time that you start um, uh, every time if you need to start Eclipse, it, you have to fire a sudo command. For that, I didn't install using sudo. Fine. Now, here it's asking you by which method you want to install, whether you want to install Java for developers, Java EE, or you, do you want to install for C or C++, or for any other things that you over here can do a programming for. Let's see if you want to install Eclipse for Android developers. I'm going to select that. Fine. Um, here you can see where you can install the entire thing. I suppose we can also install on OPT folder. Fine. So let's create a folder in OPT. Uh, it's gone. Okay. File system. And here it is OPT. I'm going to select this thing and also type it over here eclipse fine you can also select this hamburger options over here and go for advanced modes also if you wish so that uh, it uh, you can come to know where what can be done and how it's going to be installed and what can be the next steps fine but f as of now as of now I'm going to install without hamburger options. Fine. Okay, so by mistake I closed it. Let me clear once again. Run. Just a second. Okay. So here it's going to install the tools. Uh, you can see over here JVM portion is also selected. Fine. So go to next. You can see over here uh, what parts of the things do you extra uh, want to install it. If you want it anything more, you can install it from here itself. Fine. Uh, clicking on next. Now it comes over here. Where do you want to install it? Fine. Um, let's see. Mm, as usual, as I said, I want to install it in OPT folder. Fine. I'm going to select OPT and type it eclipse fine and in that it will create an installation folder of a neon uh, mine fine. if you want to show variables you can see over here 
clicking clicking on next and then it says that uh, what task can you perform and what can be downloaded and where where it will be the uh, task will be executed and everything stuff like that from internet let's see and click on next so you can see over here it has started downloading each and every aspects from the internet fine um, while it gets downloaded I'm going to pause it for some time as and when the entire things gets downloaded uh, okay so here you can see it's asking me for license agreement remember accepted licenses and do not forget to accept here fine okay so it's getting downloaded let me pause it for some time and will be back when it's getting downloaded and okay uh, as of now if we are installing Android Eclipse so we will also need some of the packages to install fine uh, before we start with that things and as and when it gets downloaded all these things let's try our friend install our packages along the side right so we need to install lib32 stdc++6 this one package the another package is 32z1 and the third package is lib32z1 developer package install it with us fine it, uh, it says that it will approximately download 46.3 mbs of data i don't mind and approximately 59 or 60 mbs will be additionally required so as and when also these things get installed let's hope for the best here you can see that we have completed uh, the task of installing the entire eclipse fine but still there are some packages which i've actually forgot to install uh, let's also install that things so do apt-get install lib32 and courses 5 and lib32 z1 fine okay enter the password and here we go these packages are important for android sdk when you are going to install sdk it, it might show some errors when so we are actually delivering that things also okay you can see it's installed very nicely i'm going to click on finish uh you can see over here it's asking me to create a workspace i don't say no and here we go So here it's asking me for Android SDK preferences. I have actually downloaded my Android SDK also. Fine. Uh, let me show it to you in just few seconds. Here it's uh, Android SDK. I'm going to extract it to OPT folder. Mm. I click on it, extracting it to OPT folder just near somewhere in other locations. That's computer, OPT, and extract. okay so the entire thing has been extracted to some locations near near opt uh, android sdk and opt folder is over here you need to give some permissions also while it gets uh, downloaded from the internet fine say for example it's uh, partially done the rest of the things can be completed by you people that how to in, uh, download the entire SDK from SDK manager fine uh, it's very simple and easy right now I'm just going preferences uh, giving some locations that where it's going to in, uh, 
get download entire things for the opt versions fine uh, here and okay and okay fine uh, you can see it's asking for opt has been missing i can say open it and then we can download certain versions from it uh, here it's fetching the entire things going to download SDK with tools and uh, some of the repositories from extras find the entire extras and then 24 packages are going to get downloaded mind well these two packages are not supported in Linux it's already written over here as you can see it uh, going to click on accept and ok Fine. Um, I just forgot to show it to you how I downloaded it the uh, entire SDK mine uh, also going for google.com just a second meanwhile it's getting downloaded also I'm going to google.com fine and then after going to google I'm typing it android SDK uh, clicking on Android SDK here you can see a download button uh, downloading it from download button might might be for Android Studio but we do not want Android Studio we are going for Android uh, SDK uh, just a second ok so you can here see that download options are available here fine uh, after clicking on download options you not you need not to select this one but you need to select Android SDK if you are downloading the entire SDK but I would suggest go for Android Studio but if your company or premises or infrastructure actually possesses SDK then you can go for this one fine and then download the entire SDK it will ask for the EULA that is user in license agreement click on this thing and click on download it will start downloading it to your computer approximately 380 uh, 11 MBs of data is there to get downloaded hmm. okay so let's see where it's gone okay. so after it gets finished all these things downloaded um, your Eclipse are ready to go fine Anyways, thanks for watching this video and if you have any queries further, you can ask me anytime you like it in the comment section. Thank you for watching this video. Thanks.